Calamity mod is the most popular and downloaded mod in Terraria. But what is the second most downloaded mod in Terraria? That's right, it is Thorium mod. And in this video, I will be comparing these two most famous Terraria mods to see which one you should play. We will be comparing all six of these aspects. Bosses and enemies Both mods add tons of new unique enemies and bosses. Thorium adds 11 new bosses, 6 of them are pre-hard mode bosses, and 4 of them are hard mode bosses, with one being post moon lord or as equivalent as moon lord. Thorium bosses are mostly based on each specific biome like the Grand Thunderbird for Desert Biome, Queen Jellyfish for Ocean, Granite Energy Storm for Granite Biome, the Buri Champion for Marble Biome, Burian Strider for Snow, all of which honestly the funny Terraria lacks and make each biomes more fun and awesome. Thorium also adds 3 fun mini bosses and tons of new enemies that still fit the vanilla Terraria aspect while still being unique and creative, even expanding Terraria events by adding new enemies to Terraria events, which honestly, Terraria has always needed. Meanwhile, Calamity adds a lot of bosses, a whopping total of 27 new bosses, with 12 new mini bosses as well and let's not start with the tons of new enemies they add. It is honestly very amazing that a Terraria mod is able to add this many enemies into the game. 5 new pre-hard mode bosses, 9 new hard mode bosses, and last but not least, a whopping total of 13 new post Moonlord bosses. Yes, you heard that right. Bosses that you fight after Moonlord has been defeated. The sprites and art style of the bosses do not really fit the style of vanilla Terraria, but they honestly still look very very amazing and jaw-dropping. Biomes and Structures Thorium adds one new biome called Aquatic Depths located underneath the ocean floor, which expands the boring vanilla ocean into something actually interesting. It has lots of new ocean-themed enemies and items, and even one specifically themed bosses called Abyssion the Forgotten One. Aside from it, Thorium doesn't have any new structures. But, Thorium expands the vanilla biomes and structures by adding several new contents like new enemies and new items, making them way more interesting. Meanwhile, Calamity adds 5 new biomes, Sunken Sea, Sulfurous Sea, The Abyss, Brimson Crack, and Astral Infection, all which are very unique and expands the boring part of Terraria worlds into something actually interesting and worth exploring. They have their own themed enemies, items, and even bosses. Calamity also adds new structures, most notably the planetoids and Drydon Labs, all which look and feel very amazing to explore. Calamity also expands vanilla biome content as well. You won't be bored exploring your Terraria world anymore. Classes and Weapons Well, 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 you thought Calamity was winning, aren't you? Well, not really. Thorium adds two new, very unique classes which are Healer and Bard. And Thorium actually fixed the Thrower class into something more unique, unlike Vanilla Thrower. Meanwhile, Calamity only adds one, which is Rogue. I made a setup guide on them, go check them out later if you need help playing them. Thorium Healer and Bard class feels really fun to be played together with your friends in multiplayer, and felt like it was made to be focused on multiplayer. Healer focuses on healing your allies, meanwhile Bard focuses on buffing your allies. Although both class can also be played while you're in single player, but trust me, it is way more fun with friends. Thorium Thrower is unlike Vanilla Thrower, it actually feels much more unique and creative to play with. Here, the Thrower class has a unique exhaustion bar mechanic and technique scrolls that allows players to perform special abilities. Meanwhile, Calamity Rogue class focuses on dealing big PP damage and stealth meter that charges and releases powerful stealth strikes, which you have to use strategically. It is unique too, but yeah, it's basically Thrower class made way better. Although it is not as unique as Healer or Bard, it is still very awesome and cool to play. For the weapons part, both mods are amazing. They add unique weapons with creative mechanics and beautiful sprite to accompany them. Thorium weapon sprite and mechanics feel like vanilla Terraria weapons, meanwhile Calamity feels like a weapon from other game but in a good way. Events While Thorium does not add any new events, it expands vanilla Terraria events by adding several new enemies, items, and drops to it, expanding it and making it more fun to deal with. 
Meanwhile, for Calamity mod, well, it also expands vanilla through the events a bit by adding some items here and there, but basically very little to no new enemies for the vanilla events. But Calamity adds a new event for the Sulfuro Sea biome called Acid Rain, which adds a lot of new enemies and items, and even a mini boss called Nuclear Terror, and a whole boss based on it called the Old Duke, which is a Duke Fish run but old. Calamity also adds an endgame challenge event, Boss Rush, where you challenge all the bosses that are buffed and harder. Endgame While there are not much to do in Thorium Endgame, with basically only the Primordial's final boss fight with the endgame items and armor set, Thorium tries its best to fit vanilla style. So it is unfair to compare the endgame content of Thorium with Calamity mod. And yes indeed, Calamity has tons of endgame and post Lord content that is not even close to being complete and still receiving updates even until this day that will make you play even way longer for hours, days, and even months. Gameplay Now you might be asking, how about the gameplay? Which one is more fun to play? Well, I cannot exactly answer that, as it is very, very subjective. Both of the mods have really good and unique gameplay and mechanics that stand out with each other. So there are not much way to compare it. Of course, if you want a more vanilla experience, go for Thorium. And if you want a more content-packed gameplay, go for Calamity. But both will for sure make your Thorium experience more fun and refreshing. After all of the comparisons, here's the answer you have been waiting for. If you want a new and modded experience but still want and prefer Terraria to have the style like the original vanilla base game, go for Thorium mod. Thorium really fits the style of vanilla Terraria and won't stray too much from it. Thorium feels like an expansion of the base game and honestly feels like a new update or DLC Terraria itself would add. If you got bored of vanilla Terraria, want a new modding experience, and want your Terraria to be much more filled with content, especially after defeating Moonlord, obviously go for the Calamity mod. It expands your Terraria gameplay a lot and adds many hours of endgame content. Although it doesn't fit the vanilla style too much, it feels like a new game on its own in a good way. Calamity will amaze you and open your eyes to Terraria mods and definitely won't make you bored. For the short answer, if you like vanilla Terraria, go for Thorium. If you got bored of vanilla Terraria, want new experiences and like your Terraria much more content packed, go for Calamity. There is no win or loss in this situation as it is really subjective with your preferences. Keep in mind that both mods are still receiving updates until this day and are definitely great and top tier in quality. You should really try them both out, there must be reasons why both of them could withstand the test against time and get ranked on the number 1 and number 2 spot on the mod browser. I really love both of them, they are really worth your time and you should play the other after you finish one of them. Before you go, leave a comment down below which one you prefer and why. It would really help us out. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this content. Thank you for watching and have a good day. See you in the next video.